This remote part of the Central African Republic sits at a crossroads near the borders with South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Here it's a crossing where everything converges. It's why the level of HIV is high. And also, a lot of rebellions, a lot of rebels pass by Zemio and Obo. Also, lots of refugees are here too. The rate of HIV infection in the southeast is 13 percent, though aid workers say it could be higher. Stigma and local tradition can prevent testing. People believe in, uh, in the power also of uh, nature and traditional uh, doctors. So bush doctors, uh, shamans are also very present in the community and then uh, mixed with uh, actually the lack of education of, uh, of the people and of the community, it makes that uh, they actually lack the knowledge. More than 1,500 people have come to Zemmour's only hospital from as far away as Uganda for the free HIV treatment offered by Doctors Without Borders. When I did the test and found out I was positive, my husband said, he does not have HIV, so he left me the same day. Once a year, Agnes Dabaraguni walks 45 kilometers to Zemio to get a checkup as part of her treatment. The journey takes two days. The roads are very insecure. I don't have a motorcycle or the money to pay to get here. There's a lot of fear to travel on these roads. Bandits and rebel groups, including the remnants of the Lord's Resistance Army, all move around the area. Residents worry the security void will worsen with the departure of Ugandan and American forces in the next few months. Doctors Without Borders developed a new community approach where patients work in groups to bring back antiretroviral drugs in bulk every six months, reducing travel time, costs, and exposure to risk. Farmer Moise Wele picks up the antiretroviral drugs for 30 people and drives two hours down the road to his village, Kitesa. It was really tiring for me to come each month to the hospital, but now this program helps a lot with this problem, despite the insecurity of the LRA that is growing. Doctors Without Borders is transitioning out of the area at the end of the year and is handing over the administration of the program to the Ministry of Health. Zach Badorf for VOA News, Zemio, Central African Republic.